Today I will show you how to make this Y2K paint effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of Lil Tekka from his Awa Awa music video and here we can instantly start making the effect. So to start, we can just press Ctrl to Y to make a new adjustment layer. And here we can add an optional effect, okay? This is definitely way too optional, it's as hotspots. Now because this is a Y2K effect, I like hot spots i don't know how to explain it but i feel like i like making it a bit darker and by making it darker i don't mean like 0.7 at threshold i mean like 0.27 so not that dark as you can see like look before and after it's it brings out the darkness but it's not too much and i also like that as jpeg damage because a y2k look is kind of damaged like almost like the jpeg damage look and now I like to also add S blur. Now for these effects, you probably can tell you actually do need a sapphire plugin. So make sure to have that, but you don't like fully, fully need it because I will later on show you things that you can do without plugin. So, and here we can make the blur mount to four. That is looking already like a really cool look. And now an optional effect to add here is S show bad colors. Now I sometimes like to have it here and I sometimes do not. And I like to make the minimum around like 0.37 to bring out one of the colors now as you might have seen in the intro i had this color to something like purple maybe like something like this sure let's just have it like that that is cool and yeah and if you want you can also make the max different and then you'll have another color and to change the max you need to change the high color like right here so you can also do that but i'm not gonna do that and now let's add an effect which i don't know i just i just found it it's paint bucket i don't even know if like everyone has this effect i have never seen this effect in my life and then i today I just saw it so yeah if you guys don't see this effect on your after effects uh what the hell is this effect you know i don't know but yeah i tested it out today and this was a really cool effect and i just like to have it like this like don't do anything you can make the tolerance a bit higher to make more color like surround you or if you want you can make it less but i don't know it works pretty weird this effect <laughs> i don't really understand it that much and now we can also add fast box blur to damage the look a bit more and make it the blur radius to one and the last effect i tell you which i think is kind of important for this is s blur chroma yeah another sapphire effect Ooh. and actually i like to make the blur chroma to 50 and i like to make the blue luminance to four it kind of like blurs the whole colors i just i don't know i just really like that look and we kind of have like a little paint effect without the actual like little paints that you saw in the intro so how to make those little paints those little drawings well this is kind of the fun part i will make a tutorial way more in depth of how to actually like use this pen tool but you will actually need to use the pen tool and to set up the pen tool you need to go to the fill and make sure there's none selected and press ok and go to the stroke and make sure you have stroke on like you need to have some stroke on and we can make it to like eight i like to make it eight but yeah, you can make it different and i like to make the color of the stroke to white and here you can just start drawing whatever you want like make sure you're not selecting any layers and here you can just like draw like some horns or spikes i don't know on top of people you know like spikes are really cool in my opinion and yeah you could just draw them like look i'm drawing this super fast but you can draw like anything you can draw borders whatever you want i'm drawing like a little outline i think outlines are pretty cool and i'll actually show you what this will do because this is not gonna be just a little random drawing so if you put it below the adjustment Miller, look what happens i don't know how but the paint bucket effect is different like how the hell did the paint bucket effect do that paint bucket is kind of like aimed at the surrounding so now he is actually in red and everything else is kind of in that purple and not purple as well now if you want it you could have just been like okay now nah, hell no nah, and just turn off the show bad colors and then you would have this look which is more just brilliant as well and yeah you can have it like that it looks very y2k very nostalgic you can just draw like a lot of these like spikes around like you know like jump like this like look i'm just drawing whatever i want you know you can even change the stroke color here to red and now let's add it below and see what it does and it does that little spike effect and yeah you can just add a lot of these like another cool one is like a question mark effect effect what did i just say no not an effect but like draw a question mark you actually need to draw like the that question part like that and then the Thought. now you might be wondering okay we can't just have this for the full video yeah and you're right this would kind of look a little weird so i have a little bit of a solution for that i like to press ctrl to y to make another new adjustment layer but below this adjustment layer let's actually call this paint the upper layer and this one we can call fps now frames per second i mean and we can add post rise time on the fps layer and here i like to make the frame rate to eight you can also make it to six 
that will be even lower frame rate. What we just did is basically make my frame rate three times lower because I had it at 24 before this. Now, if you were editing in, let's say, 30 frames per second, then you would need to make this to 10 and so on, you know, like uh, just make it three times lower. Now, what this will basically mean is if you go one, two, three frames forward, you will see a different frame. And here you can start to, uh, for example, like maybe delete the question mark, uh, move the little space keys you know around like you can uh, press ctrl shift d to cut the adjustment layer and you can like scale it up if you want or you can scale it down even and i just like move it you can press r and rotate it like do whatever you want you know uh maybe these spikes we can press ctrl shift d and move them like somewhere here i don't know i'm just doing whatever i want and we can draw anything here like you can take the pen tool and start drawing uh i don't know like look i'm just drawing like anything right now yeah like, for example like that and yeah we can go to the color and change it to white and add it below and yeah just keep going like one two three and here we can also press ctrl shift d oh uh, yeah and now we can uh, move this anywhere we want we can make the scale like oh no actually like, let's just keep it like that like look how cool that is and, and you could just keep going and you will have a crazy effect just just look you can even like not even cut the layers and you'll still have like a really cool effect like look at this that is insane but yeah guys uh that's pretty much it uh, for the video if you have any questions then make sure to let me know in the comments or on my instagram i just want to say that i have an instagram Instagram at Poikas underscore uh, where I post like Instagram stories for my upcoming tutorials or updates so make sure to follow me there if you want to see those updates or ask me questions or whatever you want to know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya